This is an exciting year for the LGBTQ community. It is the International Gay and Lesbian Aquatics Awards right here in Edmonton. We're here at the Kinsman Sports Centre where the event is happening with Mike Stansberry, who is the co-chair of this event. Mike, for people who aren't familiar with this event, what is it all about? Sure, the IGLA is the International Gay and Lesbian Aquatics Championships, which is swimming, diving, synchronized swimming, open water swimming, and the pink flamingo. Okay, so uh, some of those things are not your usual swimming events, such as the Pink Flamingo. If you can tell us maybe some of the more unique, more interesting things that are happening here. Sure, with the Pink Flamingo, it's sort of like a dive, it's a synchro Aqua Follies drag performance in the water. Um, all of the events are open to the public where people can come down to the Kinsman Sports Centre and uh, watch. You can even go to our website, igla2016.org, to sign up to volunteer. Okay, so some of the events are a little unique, a little different from what you might expect. Um, is, it, is it just a bit more colourful, a bit more fun than your usual aquatics championships? Well, the competition will be pretty fierce. There's some really good competitors, but it's also fun. It's a way for people to get together, gather, and be themselves. And I know that this is uh, there's lots going on in the city for the LGBT community, for the community at large. What what else is happening around these these aquatics awards? Well, absolutely. As a great host city, we need to be able to make sure that we put on the greatest entertainment and uh, other activities for participants. We have happy hours. We have wine tastings. We have brunch. Uh, and there's a number of big parties as well coming to the city. So we're very excited to make sure that people really experience Edmonton. And why is an event like this important to the LGBTQ community? Well, here in Canada, we're very fortunate to have so many rights and freedoms to be ourselves. Um, it happens to be that there's five Ugandans coming to the AGLIC Championships where it is illegal to be themselves. So what better way to change the hearts and minds of people than through sport? So this is a, a great way for people to gather, be themselves, and compete in sports that they love. If you could just remind me one more time, what uh, can people do to find out more information about this? Yep, for more information, go to igla2016.org. Okay, great. Check out the IGLA Championships.